the mesotherapy with dutasteride is better than the PRP, in your opinion? In my opinion, I combine both. I combine mm -hmm. both. I don't just do one of the other. Really? I will combine both. We will show. So I'll, I'll have. Uh, I will send some pictures so we can show a young uh, patient, uh, 21, uh, who came with his parents, was mm -hmm. uh, diffuse thinner. I told them that hair transplant is out of the question at 21. So they were really crushed. They didn't want to take finasteride. The mom was completely adamant because she read and she didn't want the boy to go stale. Uh, yeah. Because, uh, you know, people have all this strong objection when it comes to take finasteride and all yeah. that. And so I said, listen, we're going to do minoxidil tablet. You're going to be coming for PRP and dutasteride meso. I did, uh, and uh, six months to seven months, the result is amazing without transplant. And mm. uh, so, so there are treatments that can be tried, and they are tested already. There are publication of. So yeah, uh, PRP with mesotherapy, if people can do it, we recommend it. But obviously, the problem with PRP, everybody does his own PRP. So there is no standardized PRP treatment. So what somebody called PRP is just the centrifuge, they take the first uh, but, part of it and then they inject it and they call PRP. Uh, if you go to YouTube and you look at PRP, some PRP are red. PRP should not be red. Uh, and so, uh, you know, we call PRP. That's why I, I'm very cautious when I say PRP because I don't know what other call PRP. So I know what we do. I know what the protocol we follow. And uh, that's why we mix it with, uh, we, we do mesotherapy and PRP together uh, for patients. I think it's a great thing, especially for those who have diffuse thinning is really you know, the challenge with diffuse thinning is uh, if you were younger and you diffuse thinner from front to back, if we restore just the front, then there is a discrepancy in terms of density between the front and the rest. So sometimes we accentuate the, you know, the appearance of boldness because now we have a thicker front and then the hair behind that looks thinner. Yes. And so then the patient wants to do more surgery, but because they are diffuse thinner, it becomes a problem. I see Costis when we do consultation, I always stress the fact that diffuse thinner is a challenge. Thank you so much for watching our videos and for more great content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also go to www.bhrclinic.com and start your journey for a free assessment with Dr. Bazanga. Thanks ever so much. Let's get started together and look forward to seeing you soon.